Hi friends. I just did the Dynamo automation today in Revit. Um, so I thought of sharing it with you people. You can see that I have these columns here, structural columns. And these columns are at different orientation. You can see that it is randomly placed and you know, just for testing purpose. So I have put it in different, different uh, angles and everything. And also you can see that these columns are varying in their sizes. Uh, this is 450 by 600 and this is 300 by 450. So the challenge is actually we have to place footing for these columns. Okay. And not only to place these footings for these columns, but you have to take this data from an Excel sheet. For example, you can see that this, this is the Excel data. And you can see that this uh, column mark is there. So wherever this column is there, uh, a column with column mark CL01, it has to place a footing with mark value this. And that footing has to have its length 1660 and width as 940. So it has to take this data, each row it has to take and place the footing accordingly with this mark value and length and width. So that is the challenge. You know how tedious this task will be if you are doing it in, doing it in a manual or traditional way of doing it. Because every column, every footing you have to place it and then change these values based on that Excel sheet. It is going to take too much of time. So that is where you can do these sort of automations using Dynamo. Okay. So let me just uh, open Dynamo here quickly. And uh, here. So here is the graph for the Dynamo, which is doing the stuff. So you can see that this Excel data is brought in from that file. Then based on that Excel set data, I am just, uh, you know, filtering out these columns which are there in uh, Revit. Now you can see that even though there are only 20 rows in the Excel sheet, but here I have got more columns, but it will omit all those columns which are not mentioned in the Excel file. So it is going to place footing for those columns which are uh, mentioned in the Excel sheet. Okay. So only 20 columns it will be placing the footings for. Now you can see this is a graph and uh, let me run this so that you can see what is happening. So I will just click run. And there you go. It has placed all these footings for these 20 columns. And let us look at the footings now. You can see that the orientation of these footings are perfectly fine according to the columns. Okay. Even though these are rotated columns, it is placing the footing accordingly. And you can see that the size of the footing is also taken care according to the Excel data. So if you see the size of this footing, it is 600 by 450 on top, which is that uh, where the column is resting and the bottom part of it, which is having the length and width, this 930 and 600 is coming uh, right from the Excel data. Okay. So it has placed it according to the Excel sheet. So uh, Dynamo is so powerful and uh, it can do such automations and all, which, is, which otherwise usually takes too much of time. So I just wanted to share you uh, this uh, file here. I just thought of showing you um, how this Dynamo automation is done. Just um, you can get as a motivation and start exploring Dynamo. Have a happy day and have a nice day. Bye.